Hello everyone, Linda Israel here and I'm sharing with you today the colors for the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist set Punked Out Steam 2. There are six two ounce bottles of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. What is Glimmer Mist? It is a liquid base, water base, pigmented spray or mist with glimmer in it. The first color is this really pretty shade of pink. It is called post, we call that punked out steam, two, punked pink. Then we have punked yellow. We have punked brass, punked blue, punked blue green, and then we have punked green. Well, I'm going to take a few minutes and get some supplies and stencils, and we're going to spray these colors so you can see what each one looks like. So one moment. One of my favorite ways to use Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist is to spray them through a stencil onto papers. So I have just a box that was big enough to hold my 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Why? So that the Glimmer Mist goes into the box and not all over my desk. So you want to have an area that you can contain the spray because it can over spray onto other things. Underneath I've got some copy weight paper in here. Just to uh, demonstrate with. By the way, this set costs $25.99 plus shipping, and I do ship international. There may be some restrictions in some places, but you'll be able to tell that on my website. So we're going to start with the punked pink. I'm going to put a little bit on my page here, and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the brass. It'll pool in a couple places. What I like about spraying Glimmer Mist on a stencil is that it has a resist on this side, so I can take another sheet of paper and mop up the glimmer mist that's on top. And I'm just rubbing the page so that it will pick up the color. And I'll go ahead and spray the back side just a little bit. So that's what it looks like mopping up. Isn't that a gorgeous pink? And it's got a little bit of that brass in there as well. All right, I'm going to set that aside to dry so I can use it on a journal page. By the way, this stencil is part of the Punked Out Steam 2 subscription box. You get two stencil sheets that have between them three stencil designs, and I'll show you the other one in just a moment. I'm flipping this page over. I'm going to spray the back side. So there is the Punked Pink. This is the other stencil that comes in the Punked Out Steam subscription box. So I'm just putting it down in my stencil box. This time I'm going to use the punked green. I like this green color and I want to see what it looks like with this stencil. And since this is a split stencil and we've got a different design over here, I want to use the punked blue on this side. And I'll mop up again. And since this side is green, I'll go ahead and spray this side. And this side is the blue. We'll spray this side. And that's what the green and the blue looks like. Isn't that pretty? Here's what it looks like spraying through the stencil. And I'll go ahead and spray the back side. I like spraying the back side because it's ready to go for me to decorate on my journal page. It's kind of like tea dyeing. If you like to tea dye and you want the paper to be colored all the way through. All right, so we've used the punked pink, blue, and green. We still have three colors left. Let me grab another stencil. I haven't officially given this a name yet, but I think I'm calling it Diamonds with Flair. It's a new design that I just recently drew. So if you didn't know, I hand draw my stencils and then we have a laser where we laser cut these. Let's use the yellow. I want to use the punked yellow here. And we will spray the back side. So here's what that looks like as a mop-up. Isn't that cool? I love the patterning. Diamonds with Flair. And here you can see through the stencil and we'll spray the back side of this one. This is a stencil that was a part of the stencil club program and it was last year and I decided it was a half sheet before so I'd go ahead and make it a full sheet and I can't remember what I called this but it has the name gears in it so be on the lookout. There'll be a link in the description box below. So now I'm going to use the blue green. I love the color. So here's what it looks like mopping it up. Isn't that gorgeous? And here's what it looks like going through the stencil. And let's spray the back. This one, you may think the name is kind of weird, but I called it, I think it's uh, Monkeys All Around. You'll see it. If you look at it really close, you'll see the monkey face in there. 
but you may see something else. That's what's the magic about art and what we interpret. So I'm going to use the punked brass. This would be good if you have coffee dyed pages that you want to add a little shimmer to. And here's what it looks like sprayed through. So I'll go back through and show you all the different colors again. So there is the punked pink. This is the punked blue and the punked green. There is the punked yellow. Here is the punked blue green. And here is the punked brass. I just love the coloring and shimmer in all of these. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing how these colors look, especially when they're mopped up on papers. Definitely check the links below. Hey, I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, where I will be making journals using the Punked Out Steam 2 kits, as well as the stamps and stencils and chipboard that go right along with Make sure you come back on Mondays at 12.30 p.m. Uh, excuse me, on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time when I do mixed media. All right, if y'all like this video, please share it and give me a thumbs up. Of course, leave a comment below of what you thought of these colors and which one was your favorite. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.